So hi guys, today we are going to learn how to deploy our chatbot which has been created on AWS Lex onto Facebook. So if you do not know how to create a chatbot on AWS Lex, I will be adding a link down in the description and you would be able to see a link in the top right hand side of the screen right now. So you can just click on the video. So it's a video of a session of around two hours wherein I have taught how to create a chatbot from scratch. So the first thing which I need to do is inside my AWS console, I'll have to change my region to North Virginia because that's where I have deployed my bot. So I'll quickly go inside Amazon Lex. And the name of the bot is YouTube Live Calc. So it's a calculator bot. So now the first thing which I need to do over here is I need to click on publish. Now it's going to ask me to create an alias. This is basically a version. You can call this dev fraud or you know something related to uh, what the bot is actually going to do. So it's about you have to give your version a name. So I'll just call this fraud, short form for production, and quickly click, click on publish. Now it might take uh, a few seconds, and now you can see I've got the screen. So I click on go to channels. So there are options of Facebook, Kick, Slack, Velo SMS. I have selected Facebook because that is what's the goal of today's video. In the channel name, I'll just call this Calc Bot for FP. Description is totally optional. Okay, let me just skip that again. Calc for FP. Description is totally optional. You can choose to leave that blank if you want to. Now alias, you'll have to select the one which you just created. In our case, that was fraud. Now, verify token is something which you will need to give on the next step. So, I'll just call this Prism code for now. This is a kind of a confirmation between your AWS account and your Facebook account. So, this is going to be used in the following steps, which are going to follow. Now, to get the page access token in the app secret key, you will have to go to developer.facebook.com. And on the top right hand side, you can see my apps. You will see that there is no app created on this account. I will just quickly click on add. I will have to give my application a name. So let me just call it Lexbot. And this is going to create an app ID for me. It is going to ask me to fill a recapture before it allows me to proceed. So I will click on submit. And now you can see I have various options over here and I'm going to select messenger because that's where I want my bot to be set up. Now you need to have a Facebook page before you can deploy it, uh, your bot on a Facebook page. You need to be an administrator. Uh, it cannot be done on a personal account. Now I have an option of add or remove pages. In case you do not have a Facebook page, you can start by creating your own Facebook page. I'll click on continue. And there is a list of all the pages that I manage. So I'll just select Prism code because that's where I want the bot to be deployed. And as soon as I'm done with this step, I will be getting my token. Now you have to make sure that your token is not shared with someone else because it is something which is private. And here I'm going to add my token. Coming back to my Facebook developer account, I'll have to click on settings. In setting, I'll have to click on basic. This is where I'm going to get my app secret key. It is going to ask me to confirm my password for security reasons. And as soon as I click on submit, you can see that I have been given an app secret. Now I'll quickly go to Lex, just paste the app secret and click on activate. If you have followed all these steps correctly, you'll be able to see an endpoint URL which is now going to be mapped to your bot. So before I do anything else, there are two things which are very important. One is the privacy policy URL and second is the app icon. Until unless you add both these things, you will not be allowed to develop. You know, you'll still stay in the development state. You'll not be able to uh, go live. So in our case, because I am doing it for Prism code, so I'll open Prism code's website. Go to the privacy policy section. Copy the privacy policy URL, which is going to be required. I'm going to paste it. When I was live streaming in the previous video, for some reason Facebook was not what was not accepting this. But now when I go over here, 
select a file i can just go into my downloads and here i can see the logo it has to be of a resolution set by facebook that is 1024 into 1024 i'll quickly click on save changes and now there is no red cross over here which means that things are good i'll just select the category to utility and productivity it's again another thing which you need to do i'll again save that up and it says it gives me a confirmation that it has saved so now i am good to go with the integration i'll quickly just go back into messenger and now to do the mapping there's an option of add callback url which is asking me for two things one is the verify token in our case we kept that as prism code so you have to type that as it is and the second is the callback url which you can access easily from your account from your aws account now i'm just going to quickly paste that up click on verify and save and our bot is now good to go now before i can actually test this bot i'll have to add subscriptions so i'm going to add subscriptions for messages post packs and options quickly click on save and now from in development i'll move that to live now i'll actually uh, show you the test now since it, this bot has been deployed from my own facebook account at this point of time i can visit the prism code messenger page and access this bot in case i want to make it live for the public i'll just have to have another step that i'll have to add the facebook uh, page messaging for subscription now this step is basically for your uh, facebook developers to go through your bot and it will take somewhere around 1 uh, to 2 business days for facebook to verify it and they'll send you an email once your bot is available for everyone uh, to you know check out so now you can see in the current submission we have already submitted it for page messaging you can actually go to the facebook page for prism code that is prism code dot uh, sorry facebook.com/prismcode and then you can actually go and check this bot out uh somewhere around in 12 hours after we post this video so now to give you a test because uh, logged in from the same account again i'll just open another new window i'm going to resize it because i do not want to show you you know a big view of the messenger so i'll just open m.me/prismcode and you can see i am here in the screen so i'll just start by typing in hi and as soon as i type hi i am getting a reply and this reply is coming from my lex and i'll just quickly give you a sample so add 5 and 10 the expected output is 15 and the result is 15 so this is pretty much about it thank you for uh, having a look at today's video in case you like the video please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe for more such content thank you